you know, two teams in the top 20 will do it in the desert today. Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of Georgetown and UNLV. What an exciting afternoon since the Run the Rebels lost here at home. 56 in a row since Oklahoma beat them back in 1989 with Stacey King. For their size, because this UNLV team is very small. Fellow Harrington was the top high school player in the nation last year, and he certainly is not letting down anybody in the Big East now. He's developing one of the premier big men in the country in his very first year in college basketball. Well, the headliner, the star for Vegas, is J.R. Ryder. Over 30 points a game in his last four efforts. Well, Jim, due to the sanctions by the NCAA, the young man was not a... ...editions of the starting lineups. Ladies and gentlemen, a very pleasant good afternoon and welcome to the Thomas & Mack Center, site of the nation's current longest home court win streak. Now, today's opponent from the Big East Conference is the 18th ranked... Georgetown Hoyas. Must be the dream, their starting lineup. Starting with one forward, a 6'7 junior out of South Bend, Indiana, number 22, Robert Churchwell. Starting at the other forward, a 6'10 freshman from New Orleans, Louisiana, number 40, Dwayne Spencer. Starting at center, a 6'10 freshman out of Jackson, Mississippi, number 50, Othella Harriet. Three sophomore from Delco, North Carolina, number four, John Jacks. And the other guard, a 5'10 junior from Morgan City, Louisiana, number 10, Joey Brown. Introducing the head coach of the Hoyas, now in his 21st season, Mr. John Thompson. by the heartbeat of America, Chevrolet, and your local Chevy dealer. The people at Nike, who encourage you to just do it. And by Dean Witter. Dean Witter measures success, one investor at a time. For 18,000, the first sellout for Coach Massimino at UNLV. And here is old friend John Thompson paying a visit before the game. You'll be interested to know that two of the officials from their championship matchup of 1985 or officiating today. Don Rutledge and John Flockerty were there in Lexington on April the 1st, 1985, and Michael Smith joins them today. UNLV 10 and 1. Wins over the likes of Marquette, Missouri, and overtime against Texas A&M this week. The lone loss was the Long Beach State. 
Georgetown 11 and 2 wins over Pitt and Syracuse. The ball coming over UConn. Losses to Miami and Boston College. He is so explosive in the inside, it's going to be hard to find that Ann Spencer. Straight man to man as usual by Georgetown. What a step. Ryder so quick. The jam is rejected. And